Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on various aspects of database replication and in this demo we are going to concentrate on how the table clustering behave with regard to replication. So we will create the table and create the clustering on the table and we will see how the replication behave on the secondary account with regard to table clustering. Before we start with the demo, I would like to draw your attention toward my recent blog. Um, if you have not gone through them, uh, I would recommend you to please have a look because I have captured lots of detail over there. And I will also share the link of the blog in the video description. So let's start with the demo. So for this demo, we will go on the primary account. And in this account, if, if you are following my previous uh, demos, you will understand that we have already created a database for this demo and we have already done one replication we did the monitoring we did the costing part and we did the comparison how you compare the primary and secondary so now we will see that how you can uh, how can you uh, compare the behavior between different objects so for this demo we are going to concentrate how the table behave uh, with clustering or without clustering uh, with regard to secondary account so for this demo let me set up my context here and I'm going to create a table called part, which is just a copy of a sample from the sample database. So there is already a part table in sample database. I'm going to create the copy of that table uh, in my current database. So it has around two lakhs uh, rows. So it is done. Let me refresh, go here, go to table, go to part, and you will see that I have around two lakhs rows. And the size of the table is 3.6 MB, not that big. I intentionally choose the small table to save some costing. And if I go here and say show table part, you will see some nice information which says like the name of the table, database, schema name, kind is table, number of rows is 200, bytes is 3 lakh, uh, 3793408 bytes, owner's account admin. Clustering is off, change tracking off, search optimization off. So basically it says like there is no clustering on the table at the moment. And if I go and see the distinct record of P manufacturing, you will see there are five records. It is manufacturing one, four, two, three, five, which is which make this uh, column very eligible for clustering because it will allow the grouping. And if I try to run the select clustering information on this particular column and see what snowflake say about this column, if I do the clustering, it says it's okay. And average depth will be one, which is good. And total constant partition is one. And I think it falls under one partition because data is not that much. So all looks good. But before doing that clustering, I will replicate this database. So I will go on the secondary account and uh, I will just uh, set up my context here first and then do the refresh. But before doing the refresh, I just wanted to showcase you one thing is like, I just want to show that at the moment I don't have this table in my secondary account. But if I refresh, I will see this table in my secondary account, which is part. So I will refresh and it will take a couple of seconds. And once this is completed, I will refresh this and I will show you that this table start appearing over here, which is very normal. And we have already covered this part in the first demo. So, all right. So this is taking 21.87 millisecond or second, not millisecond, seconds. So it took around 25 or 26 seconds. If I refresh, I will start seeing the part table. And if you see here, it has around two lakh rows and the size of the table is matching with the primary and these are the column which is already there and if I go and see the show table over here okay show table like part so at the moment okay all right I understand the issue is the schema not selected properly so I might use here schema so schema so this might help all right, so now if I go and say show table like part, you will see the same information which we are seeing in the primary table. Let me just close this so that we can see more data. You can see the number of rows is 2 lakh bytes and all the information automatic clustering is off. So there is no clustering and all the information is matching with what we have on the primary. 
now we will go on the primary data uh, primary account and uh, we will enable the clustering um, on this table by using the alter table cluster by this column name and if we go here the clustering is enabled now if i go here and run this command again we will see that clustering is on early it was off now you will see the clustering is automatic clustering is on and soon uh, as a background job the clustering will happen on the background and you will see that the performance will improve so i am not going in detail about the clustering i have already created a blog i have already written a blog on detail about how clustering work if you want you can go through them i will put the link of uh, that blog in my video description as well so if i now run the system clustering information on the part table you will see that the clustering information is showing me the detail uh, and you will see the total constant partition let me just expand this a bit so that we will see the full picture here so at the moment you will see that the partition is over here and the partition count is one because the data is not that big so we'll see that only one partition is there we'll go to that more detail later on but at the moment we see this information here and now if i go again here and uh, select this distinct partition you still see the five rows and partitioning information i believe it will not give you because this table is not cluster over here and if you want to try to cluster the table in the secondary account you will not able to do because secondary is always read only just wanted to show you you can't do any dml operation or dml operation into the secondary account but you can refresh this so that your cluster is also get replicated to secondary account so i'm just going to replicate that uh, database again from primary to secondary so it takes around 4.14 second and if i come here and again click on table show tables and if you come here you will see the cluster information is now visible here and you will see that the automatic clustering is also on so basically uh, if you have a table with cluster on the primary uh, and if you replicate the same table your clustering information is also replicated and your table uh, automatic clustering is also on by default with the replication so uh, that's the main focus and the area which i wanted to uh, cover for this demo so some of the observation uh, which i want to share is cluster table gets replicated to secondary database successfully no doubt clustering is on in secondary database after initial as well as subsequent refresh unless a change in primary so basically if you don't turn off the step cluster in the second uh, primary account it will not get turned off in the secondary if you turn off in primary it will get uh, turned off in secondary if you do the replication afterwards but if you drop the clustering on the primary it will also get replicated as is in the secondary on your clustering will be dropped let's see that as well so if i go here um let me just reduce this all right so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to just drop the clustering from my primary this is drop now if i go and say show table you will see that clustering information is now turned off you can see clustering by column will be blank see here and now you will see the cloud automatic clustering is also off now if i go here and do another refresh you will that that here you can see that the automatic clustering is on earlier now if i do the refresh and do it again you will see that the clustering information is gone from the secondary as well so now if i go here and do this you can see cluster by is gone and the automatic clustering is also so the same observation which i shared here is like if you do the change in primary it will reflect it on secondary once you do the refresh so this is all about the scope of this demo and i want to share how it behave and if you like this demo please subscribe to my channel like the blog follow me on medium and i will plan for more such uh, wonderful videos and blogs thank you